our next show is I Sing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I Sing was a 2001 off-Broadway musical written by three young recent Northwestern graduates, Benjamin Salka, Eli Bolin, and Sam Foreman. It was a coming-of-age musical about five young people in NYC and their friendships and romantic entanglements. In other words, Nikki and Heidi are together, but Nikki's best friend Alan is in love with Heidi, and Nikki is cheating with Pepper, whose gay roommate Charlie thinks he's actually in love with her. Yeah. That's the story. Uh, the show premiered in an off-Broadway house called the Maverick Theater on 26th Street, which is actually now UCB. It's crazy. Basement of a Christides. <laughs> uh, the cast there included Billy Eichner of Billy on the Street in the only commercial musical of his career thus far, although I think that should change. When interviewed about the show, Eichner, who is misnamed Billy Eichmann in the article, said, It's definitely a young show, but it's really smart in terms of the relationship predicaments people go through. The article goes on to note that he's confident in his role as Charlie, but admits his confidence might not hold up if offered a role in Naked Boy singing next. <laughs> Although you never know, he laughs. I do whatever they pay me to do. <laughs> Foreshadowing. A cast recording was made from a concert production in 2003, which starred, get ready for this, Chad Kimball, Leslie Kritzer, Matt Bogart, Danny Gerwin, and Lauren Kennedy. Get that CD. Uh, the LA premiere featured Jenna Lee Green and Josh Radner of How I Met Your Mother. While the pro plot read like an HBO series, the creators said that the inspiration for I Sing was actually a combination of their own lives and William Finn's March of the Falsettos. Fascinating combination. As Lonnie Price said when he saw the show... Any excuse to quote Lonnie Price. If you saw it, I'll quote him. <laughs> Love Lonnie Price. Uh, the songs are tuneful, smart and funny, and more than that, human. You care about these characters, you want them to get everything that they want. There's an energy to the writing that I found infectious. On the other hand, a negative review in the Times said, the characters behave in a life or death fashion that will seem poignant to audience members in their age group and either adorable in a condescending way or annoying to everyone else. Agree to disagree? A Playbill release about the show closing noted that the original print ads for the show offered the smiling faces of the squeaky clean cast. Midway through the run, these ads were swapped out for new ads showing a male character in briefs being dominated by a woman tugging at a leash around his neck. I couldn't find that picture and I googled some things, but I just had to stop. <laughs> Julia Madison and George Salazar. Nice. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Sorry, Joe Pat. He says it's okay. Okay, good, cool. Don't mind, don't mind. <laughs> George Salazar, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> In a state of deep confusion and enormous self delusion, Heidi thinks that looking nice might win him back. Heidi cries and pulls the dresses off the rack. What color works best? Blood red? Pitch black? I don't know. You don't know? No, I really don't know. Heidi wants a new dress. Nikki'd say no. He'd say shopping so boring. And she moves way too slow. But I smile and be good like a good roommate should. And she asks me and I agree to know. Staring at the floor, you gotta tell me, should I buy this thing or not? I can't get it! Oh, no. God, I can't take it anymore. 